Hello again. This is PC Delta Link, back with our Resident Evil 4 playthrough, normal difficulty. And this is probably the final episode of the main Welcome. campaign. We should finish the game here. Got a selection of what are you selling? We're gonna sell some stuff because we have way too many of a couple items. I don't need six is flash grenades. <laughs> Thank you. I honestly don't need eight hand grenades. That's a little overkill. We'll also go and sell all four of these. Ah, I'll buy it at a high. <laughs> because we can. Thank we you. still have first aid spray. We still have six full heals. Another one. Seven full heals if you count the gold egg. So yeah, we have plenty Come of back healing. Any time. And yeah, I honestly do not need eight hand grenades. <laughs> Alright, but we're going to move on. And look, another healing item. Because yeah, we are pretty much done. These are, down here, are the last normal enemies in the game. Wait. <laughs> So I'm going to try to use up two rifle bullets here if I can. Well, heck. Since I completely screwed up that shot. Just going to retry. Wait. Ooh, nice bit of lag right there. How? You know what? Screw it. Just. Wait. You know what? Screw this. Give me the Magnum. <laughs> Done trying to be fancy here. You know what? I don't even care anymore. And I said I don't need this many grenades. I don't. Goodbye. And I can use one more Magnum around here. There, we did get that rifle kill in. <laughs> wow, I, I can't believe I sucked it up so badly right there. I feel the need to apologize, even though... Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Follow me. Then there we go. And we can't actually go out this door here first. This takes us back into the room where Sadler was a minute ago. He's not here any longer. But wait, there is one or two items you can pick up in here. There's not a lot. Let me look around here. But there definitely is a. I think might just be one item. We'll see. We'll take a look. But I think there's some magnum ammo in here. We got a red herb. Oh, yep, there it is. Five magnum bullets, which is a pretty good amount of magnum rounds, actually. Can I jump down from here? No. Nope. I had to walk all the way around. I thought there was a green herb here, too, or some handgun ammo, but I guess there isn't. Nah. Oh, well. I'll go and reload the magnum. We aren't going to need it, but I'll reload it just because it annoys me when things aren't loaded. And I'll go ahead and use up one of the, like, seven heals I have. Okay, now, very th big thing we've been waiting for for a very long time happens right here. This hunk of junk? I, I don't know about this, Leon. There's only one way to find out. You operate. So this thing removes the plagas from hosts. 
so you can see it there. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. All right. Here goes nothing. And it killed it. How are you feeling? Like a million bucks. <laughs> I thought you were gonna die. All right. Guess I'm up. You okay? I don't know about you, but I think it's time we go home. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, no. Yes. All right, so we get to move on now. And the interesting thing as well about that, here's the last yellow herb in the game, by the way. Interesting thing also about that laser is Lewis said in his research notes that if the Plaga had matured to an adult, like everyone else is, it, you can't remove it without killing the host. So our Plagas were still immature and that's how we were able to kill them. This was just Sadler's plan for how he was going to take over the United States. Yeah, right. But, um... <laughs> so yeah, that's all that details. Okay. This is the final merchant in the game. Welcome. So the last time you get to see his happy face. Got a selection of... What are you selling? Sell off the TMP Sell ammo. We do not need it. Thank you. We have seven hand grenades. That's absolutely insane. Come. What I probably will do real quick... Because we had run through the game twice, like I had said earlier. We haven't combined any of this, though. Whoa, what just happened? I don't know why it shows me back over there for that. It shouldn't. Whatever. Yeah, that is so weird. Hopefully it doesn't do that for the elegant mask, but it probably will. Yeah, that's annoying. Shouldn't do that. I think that's it, though, for combinable. Oh, no, we had the crown. This way, if I want to sell them at the beginning of the next playthrough, they're ready to go. I'm back at a time. All right. Another green herb right here, and our final typewriter is right here. Okay. I'm gonna combine that with that. Yeah, we'll start with handgun. Okay. So here we go, final boss time. Something's not right. Ashley, you stay here. Somehow Ada got tied up. Ada! Better try a new trick, cause that one's getting old. Uh. Uh. You okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think you know. 
The American prevailing is a cliché that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of clichés. Ada, stand back. There's Sadler's true form. Okay, move past him. All right, we're gonna start with these explosive barrels right here. The idea is you need to knock him over and then stab him with your knife. So you hit him with that kind of attack and it makes him fall to the ground and you run up and climb on and stab him with the knife. Now, I think it's worth mentioning real quick, you can shoot him with like, say, the Magnum when he's down. But honestly, I've kind of played around with that, and with like a maxed out Magnum, this thing's not maxed out for damage, but maxed out, and really, it doesn't take less hits than just stabbing him with a knife. It's honestly probably quicker to kill him with a knife. Alright, so we're gonna move on. We're gonna move down this platform. If you hear that stomping, it means he's like... He's gonna move very quickly here. Alright, go. And activate the crane and knock him over. Again, climb down. You do have time to do this. Alright, the bridge just came up, so we're gonna run across. You those do not stay up. You have to move quick to use them. And yes, he can throw steel beams at you like that. And you can do it more than once, too. And I hit the wrong button. Yeah, I'm fine for now. Did that just kill me? Okay. My gosh, that was annoying. All right, we'll use our first aid spray. Okay, game. Um, there we go. That was kind of annoying. I got screwed over there, but whatever. Get the stab in. Yeah, see, you saw the dodge command just briefly flicker on screen there. He can hit those beams that are standing up toward you, and when he does, I don't know if the game was poorly programmed on that dodge or what the problem is, but it never gives you enough time to dodge those. It's it's impossible to dodge them. Unless maybe you're spamming the dodge button and you happen to get lucky. Okay, we're going to activate this crane, even though he's right here. Okay, now we have two options for once the crane and the explosive barrels are used up. Your two options are he has eyes on his legs that open and close. Which you can see one on his right front. I'm going to try to hit it right now. Oh, no, go for the left one. Nope, missed it. Okay, I'm sucking up this time. So yeah, you can hit those. There we go, got it. Each eye can take two hits before it gets destroyed. He has one eye on each leg, front and back leg, so... You have that option. Or the easier option, if you're like me. Oh, that destroyed that eye. I don't think that should have, but either way. Anyway, uh, your other option is hand grenades. That will knock him over as well. And this is why I'm kind of happy we have so many hand grenades, because I'm planning to just use these the rest of the fight. Ah! 
We should be pretty close to done here. Yeah, those can those can hit you when you walk by them. Usually they don't hit you twice, so I'm a little annoyed at that. <laughs> but um anyway, let's go ahead and get another one. Probably two more stabs maybe. He's got to be getting close. Okay, we're done. Use this. So yeah, Ada tosses you a rocket launcher. A special rocket launcher, it's called. So, alright, you kind of have to make room for it, of course, and we actually do have room for it. Go figure. So, alright, you just grab this, equip it. Uh, get, get a little bit of distance right there. And shoot him and you're done. Fight over. Sadler is dead. So final boss dealt with, and there's the Plaga sample that everyone's been wanting. Sorry, Leon. Hand it over. Ada, you do know what this is. Hmm. Swan dive. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll take good care of it. Ada! Gotta go. If I were you, I'd get off this island too. She really pushed it. Here, catch. Better get a move on. See you around. So yeah, she just started charges that are still counting down during the cutscene. Very cute. Now, if you skip that cutscene, it doesn't save you any time. Um, yeah, no time is saved. It just defaults down to this. Okay, and Sadler drops 100,000 pesetas for killing him, which is pretty cool. I don't think there's any other items in here. You really can't dilly-dally too long here. Because we're already at two minutes, basically. So we gotta move pretty quick right now. Leon. We have to get off this island now. It's gonna blow any minute. It's gonna what?! <laughs> Okay, so just keep going here. Get to catch Ashley. Yeah. Okay, there's the jet ski. We use the jet ski key. Hang on, sweetheart. Okay, the only real rule here is don't crash into any walls and you'll be fine. If you do, it instantly kills you. You can also do tricks off some of the ramps. Like that. By hitting left trigger and right trigger at the same time. Alright, just go quick, and again, don't crash into anything. I almost hit that wall there. <laughs> We're almost out. And we're clear, we're done.
Ashley! Where are you? Leon! <sighs> Come on. Let's go home. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. And that's the end of Resident Evil 4. So, I hope you all enjoyed it. It's one of my favorite games of all time. And, yeah, I just like going through it every couple years again. So despite the debacle over losing our footage to the, cor the corrupt video files, um, we're finally done with this again. So we're just going to enjoy the credits because the music's decent and it kind of tells the story of the village before the plague has happened. So it's kind of cool how you get to see all this. You see them just with their family and their kids and wives and all that, husbands and everything. Probably a grandma right there, who knows. It's hard to tell age on some of this stuff. Love the guy on the porch playing the guitar for the kids. But now you kind of see where stuff went wrong. So there's Sadler, and I think that's the chief on his right, or his left, our right. And so, you see, there's the guy with a needle, and they're injecting the plagas into people. Don't know the context, but that's a dead child there. I don't know if either the person they're killed or if the plagas can't mesh with someone that young. And so the plagas killed them. Either way, all the kids died. And there's one turning bad right there. See, there's a parasite fully breaking out right there. And that's where the story ends on that. The credits aren't too long on this game. So yeah, that's the end of it. And we still got a few minutes left. I'll show you what kind of what we're going to do next. Cuz there's still some more stuff to do in this game even though the campaign is done. We have a radio message at the end of this. I just remembered that. I like that little warning. Criminal prosecution by an appropriate STARS member. <laughs> and again, is that you? 
Finally, the line's Jack free. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the mission? I've rescued the subject. We're returning home. You did it, Leon. Thanks. You know, you're kind of cute without those glasses. Give me your number when I get back. May I remind you that you're still on duty? Story of my life. She didn't say no, though. <laughs> And here you get a little final screen for how you did in the game. So yeah, it gives you kills, deaths, clear time hit ratio. Uh, really, in the other game, the other version, we were not quite sure what we did differently. We had over a thousand kills and we had we were about 13 hours on our clear time. But again, this is round two and we kind of blitzed through the game with the Plaga laser. So that's why the clear time is like half that from the other one. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. So all right, as for what's next, and they'll be in the next episodes we do, we have extra content in this game. The first one we're going to do is Assignment Ada. Which, you play as Ada and you go through part of the island and you gather some of the Plaga samples. So it's kind of a nice little mini game. Originally on the GameCube, this was the only extra mission with Ada you had. You had this and you had Mercenaries mode. So we'll get to that eventually. Then we have the Separate Ways campaign. This is a side campaign with Ada, which is longer, sort of, it's longer, sort of like Leon's campaign, but not quite as long. It only has five chapters, I believe, and they're, the chapters are way shorter than Leon's. So, but it's still pretty fun. It gives you a different perspective. It basically shows what Ada was doing while Leon was doing the rest of the game. So, pretty cool to go through, actually. And then lastly, we have Mercenaries. Which, Mercenaries is a mini-game where you just try to get kills and earn points. And you can play as Leon, Ada, Krauser, Hunk, or Wesker. And you see they each have different starting equipment. And then when you take them, there are four missions, four stages. The village, the castle, the island, and the water world. And our objective that we're going to be doing is we want see this five star thing we want a five star rating in all four stages with all the characters as that unlocks a new cheat weapon once you do that so but it is pretty tough to do this um, apparently I've already done a couple stages in the past with some of these people so like hunk already did the village um, Wesker already did the island and the castle and then Leon, I already did the water world with. Any of these that are already done, I will not redo them. Just because it's probably not going to be super exciting gameplay anyway. And there's probably people who are better at these than me online with videos. Um, the only one I have on video file, I do have Leon's water world right here recorded. Because I did that a couple years ago. It is on my channel. It's just really far back. But it is on there if for some reason you're bored and you want to see the uh, run on Waterworld. The reason I recorded that two years ago is his stage with Waterworld is the hardest stage for him. Because his shotgun there, the ride gun, is just not good there. But it's what you have, so it's what you have to work with. And I actually managed to pull off a pretty decent run on it. So, yeah, I did not have a microphone back then, so it's without any commentary. But again, if you all just want to see it, since I won't be replaying that stage, because I hate it. But if you want to see it with Leon, the video's there so you all can watch it. <laughs> but that's going to be it for now. So we'll move on to those next time, and I hope you all have a good day.